excuse me me and you we are age mates hey beautiful people of god must die welcome back to my youtube channel if you are seeing my face for the first time my name is Ori. and if you're a returning subscriber um thank you so much for coming back thank you for the love thank you for the support and if you are yet to subscribe let's say the returning viewers please make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel and um you know do well to share you know leave a comment and also it's the notification button or click on the notification button so you get notified whenever i release new videos yeah so and today we're just going to be going to what we'll be talking about because um i feel this is something i need to touch and you know something we need to discuss i'm going to be talking about you know comparison and how it's even more easy to compare ourselves with anyone and compare ourselves with others this time the age of social media and sometimes it's not even social media sometimes it's probably your friend you know telling you something about someone or maybe you comparing your children or comparing your siblings it's just you know that bit of comparison and comparing ourselves our achievements with what others have achieved and most of the times this um always makes us feel like um we are not making any edit with her life or we are not moving we are just you know just there right so just stagnant and yes yeah, so it's just easier this time around because we see things online you don't even need to go out at least i feel like in our parents time they can decide not to you know um go online right but like now it's just even while you're just in bed you're just scrolling on social media and you're just seeing someone achieving everything that you've written down planned for yourself when you were a child and you've just seen someone saying oh at 15 i've gotten my phd i've gotten 10 masters i've gotten my um you know my dream job i'm married with kids maybe not at 15 though but yeah like you just see that it's actually even on linkedin i know there is the instagram on but if you go on linkedin and you just see a lot of people saying oh um this was what I wrote down and they'll probably give you evidence of when they wrote it down, how they've achieved it. You're like, excuse me, me and you, we are hate meat. <laughs> but yes, there is that bit of you having all of those and it, it gets to the place of when, you know, when you're probably alone and it just keeps coming to you. Sometimes it, alone might be maybe when you are trying to even, you know, go to bed at night or probably when you are taking your shower. I feel like that's when we have all of those feelings and all those expressions i start thinking that we are not you know moving we're not progressing with our life and it's just difficult it's difficult because it's sometimes you know um it sometimes affects the way we pray and you hear, you hear some people say father lord her lord jesus look how in kechi kechi has gotten this jesus christ do it for me like want to pull jesus christ like jesus christ do my own too you see in kechi i even listen everything like okay, she has five houses already god i'm living in my rented apartment and it's just going to lead to something that we call like ingratitude right and you start feeling like you're now acting like an ingrate and if we, if we recall vividly right most times these things happens out of let's say sometimes it's not even deliberate it's not like we want to say it's well because of all the you know all the events that's played out and it becomes very difficult for us to see the good things that is working in our lives. So it's just more of, I'm just focused on what is going on with the other person's life. And now let me even take it outside our life. Sometimes let's say between our siblings, between children, you see one child performing well. And the other child is just still struggling. The other child is just acting like he's not seeing the other person doing well. And now let's take it away from our children. Let's take it to our partners like husband or baby son you're in a relationship with probably see or hear your friend saying oh my um boyfriend is like this or my husband is like this and yes you don't want to of course say oh, my own husband is not like this but there is this um human nature that comes in to say my husband does not even do this for me like i expect my husband to be doing this for me and then we just start comparing ourselves it happens like unconsciously and it just works that way and we just start you know giving this person attitude that we didn't expect we would give this person of course not out of our consciousness but out of say because of what i've heard because of what i've read because of what i've seen because of what someone told me and we start acting and comparing ourselves the bible says that those that compare themselves are not wise so when we start doing that it means that we are foolish 
I'm not insulting you. So it means that we are like foolish people doing that. So you don't sit down, you don't compare yourself. And comparison means this person is doing this. I'm just trying to make sure that it's in a layman way. So this person is doing A, this person is doing B. And we're like, God, you're, you're, you're in between. Like, I'm not doing this. This person is doing this. That's the clear picture of comparison. Now, let's talk about how to manage comparison. How, how do I stop comparing myself with other persons, right? How do I become, you know, um, how do I even avoid this? Because aside from the fact that, apart from the fact that this is going to make you feel, behave like an ingrate, right? It's also going to make you feel down. It's also going to make your mood, like, there is not going, you, you're not going to have joy basically like joy is not going to be there yes you would be happy when things occur but when things don't happen or play out the way you expect it to play out you're going to be sad and you're going to start feeling miserable and we don't want that this community we don't want anyone feeling miserable so now how do i manage comparison how do i know you know how do i in fact how do i totally end it i don't want to be a foolish person i don't want to start comparing myself my achievements what I've done and what I've not done, blah, blah, blah. How do I, you know, stop comparison? The first thing you need to do is to know your triggers. So now what's your triggers? What triggers you? And it might look like a very big, like big English. I'm going to break it down and you'll get it. So what's the thing that, you know, makes you feel or makes you start comparing yourself with another person, makes you start comparing your children with another person, um, child or kids like what was that thing that makes you compare you know um your partner is it what people say is it what you read and this is different for everyone for some people it's social media when they're on linkedin they're just like oh god my life is not moving and there are some people it's when they're with their friends they are probably with their friends and their friends are with their partners and they're like oh god i'm 30 years old oh god i'm 20 whatever years i'm 29 i'm 28 i'm 22 god oh god i'm 25 i should have given back to 10 children by now this person has two kids what's happening so you will know what triggers you right and um like i was saying it's different for for different people this is um some people is what they read you can just be pick, picking up a magazine and you know magazine magazine <laughs> Picking up poor magazine and then you realize that God, I should be this person, I should be you that I should be cooking, I should be this person, and I'm not I'm not this person yet. Like what's going on? I, I'm not moving forward. So it's different for different people, it's totally different for different people. So you need to know what triggers you, and then when you know what triggers you, you'll be able to cut it, like cut it off, like cutting it off, I'm not saying cutting off that person. For instance, let me say what triggers me is um if someone comes to me so and a person tells me, oh, um, or uh, I have a car now and and I'm like, God, I want to get a car and I don't have a car yet. Oh, God, what's going on with my life? God, I said I want to get a car by January and I don't have a car. And this person comes to tell me again, uh, all right, I've gotten probably, um, um, what should I say? I've gotten my house and, and I'm like, oh God, what's going on with my life? Like once I realized that this person might not even be doing that to make me feel bad. The person is just giving me information. But you understand that this is what triggers you to feel like you are not moving forward so it's very easy for you to tell this person that oh, you might not even want to tell this person that i don't want you to you know say all of those things but you can reduce the number of times at which you see this person this also works with like social media you can reduce the number of times that you you know view go online start checking things that people don't even go on social media because of all of this and if it means muting this person it doesn't mean that you probably envy the person you are jealous if it means muting this person you need to mute this person if it means avoiding this person or whatever your triggers are or is you need to do that you need to just make sure that you are staying away as possible because it's also going to um, affect your prayer life the bible says you should enter his gates with thanksgiving you are not going to be grateful, thankful that way. You're not going to come into and thanksgiving is beyond just you know voicing out and say, Father, I thank you. It comes from a place of your heart, like your 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 heart. You have to be in the proper state of mind to be thankful to show that you're thankful, right? Because God is going to see through all of those things. And so if you are comparing yourself and you start feeling and you start feeling like God has not done things for you, it's going to really affect your prayer life as well, right? So you are going to try as much as possible to cut off those things that triggers you. Mute, block, remove, avoid, run away, flee, everything, jack that, just go, right? So moving on to the next point, um, and I think that's the second point I'm going to say. 
and then we end this video so the second thing is you need to look back at your life and look at all the things that god has done for you so let's say you, someone comes and is triggering you and you're already understanding that i'm beginning to compare my child i'm beginning to compare uh my partner look at the good things that your partner have done look at the good things in their life have more of the good things than the bad things have more of the good things that you've done for yourself that god has done for you more of the good achievement that you've seen so far more of you know just the things that you know that okay i actually did this and god helped me with this have more of those things down if you need to write it down have a jar if you need to have a jar if you don't need to have a jar just have it in your conscious state that god has done these things for me and you need to count it you know that song that says count your blessings name them one by one you need to be as practical as possible you need to count your blessings oh god when i went out um yesterday you provided 10 pounds for me like be that specific oh god when i was in primary one and if you need to narrow down by you know just closing your eyes and you know just imagining and looking at your journey this is not even imagination this is all that has happened to you maybe you didn't think you're going to get a job you got a job it might not be the perfect salary you want now but you got a job and you were in a place probably before when you didn't have a job but now you have a job like just look at those those times look at the track record of how god has been faithful towards you look at the track record of how your partner has been good to you look at the track record of how your siblings have been good when they were nice when they were not being annoying like look at all those good things right and have it down because this is actually going to help you content so in a state of content you you know that there's going to be better things and you are not like oh god this person is doing better than me god I, i'm just you know not moving on with my life and all of this is going to help you you know remain in a state of gratitude in such a way that you will not even see what's going on in others in others life you see what is actually happening in your life and you begin to take like practical steps towards you know advancing and making your life better right i know i've somehow you know rushed this and tried to talk as fast as possible because i wanted to make sure that i captured all these points in one so yes those are the two tips i'm going to share into this video that i've shared and i'm going to do a recap the first recap is to know your triggers and the second one is to look back at the blessings that god has done for you yeah so officially we've come to the end of today's video and i hope that this video has you know not been able to confuse you <laughs> and it's been serious so yeah so i hope you guys i like, got one or two things of course from this video i can see you guys in my next video Bye.